hello viewers welcome to the channel and to another exercise in this video you'll see how to create the simple model using only the part design and sketch uh, workbench without using the sketch on surface tool from the carver's workbench i hope you like this video if you're not a subscriber please subscribe and also if you want to support the content of this channel there's a link in the description of this video to my Ko-Fi page thank you and let's see how to design this model First, let's go to FreeCAD. From the start page, let's create a new document. Click on this plus icon. And now change the workbench to part design. And also create a new body. Click here on this icon. Now, if you go to the model tip, you can see that we have this body in the tree view. Let's go to the string page. As you can see here, we have these three views, the session view, and also these dimensions to create this simple part here. So we'll start by creating this cylinder. Let's go to FreeCAD and now to Active Tools of Part Design and click here in this arrow and we'll find this tool here, Active Cylinder. Click here, zoom in. And the first thing that we need to do here is to select a plane for the cylinder. So let's select XY plane and now we can change the range and height of the cylinder. As you can see, here we have a result of 41.9 millimeters for the cylinder. But to avoid problems with the thickness tool, what we'll do is use these internal dimensions. Okay, so as you can see, we have a result of 41.9 millimeters for the cylinder and also this thickness 1.9. So we'll set a result of 40 for this cylinder. Let's do that. Change here to 40 and now the height as you can see is 36.9 millimeters and also we have this thickness here 1.9 so we'll set a height of 35 millimeters okay and now click enter and press on as you can see we have the simple cylinder and the next step now is to create a fillet in the circular edge here the range of this fillet will be 15, this internal dimension here, a range of 15. So what you need to do is to select the circular edge or we can select this face here, no problem. And now select fillet 2 and change the range to 15 and enter. As you can see, now we have this. Okay, and the next step now is to create a sketch for these three parts here. Okay. Click on this icon to create a new sketch. Let's select XY plane for this sketch. Double click. Okay, and next select this tool, slot tool. Click on this horizontal axis and then in this origin point. Okay, and now skip and select this constraint here, equal constraint and delete. Why delete this constraint here? Because we have this angle here. Okay and now let's add the size of this sketch here let's select this tool and consume the edge of this arc here as you can see here we have a range of 11.9 so we'll set 10 for this arc here we'll set a range of 10 millimeters enter let's select consume distance tool and now these two points and the distance here we'll set 45 millimeters we have this ridge here Okay, and now as you can see, we have one degree of freedom. So it means that we have to set the angle between these two lines here. So what you do, we select angle constraint and then these two lines here. Okay, here in this ring page, we don't have the angle. We can set 25 degrees here, no problem. And as you can see now, the sketch is full constrained. Let's close this sketch and let's create the extrusion of this sketch here select pet tool the length here will change to 18 enter and next let's create this fillet here select these two edge control and select this edge here and now select fillet tool we don't have the rest of the fillet here so let's set five millimeters and enter and the next what we'll do is to create this pocket here as you can see this pocket to do that we select this face here and we create a new sketch okay and 
now we need to get the center point of this arc here so first we will use this tool here axial drum tool and extract this edge here as you can see now we have the center point so next we select cycle tool and we draw this cycle as you can see here we have this distance from the center point to this line here we have 10 millimeters so what you do we go to we click in this arrow and we select constraint radius and we click here and we set the radius of 10 millimeters and now escape two times to leave the sketch and create a pocket reverse duration and now here we set your goal and we set ok and next let's create a polar array of these all operations so what you do we go to the model tip and first here we select this pad and now control select this fillet and this pocket and now go to this tool here polar pattern tool and what you need to do here is to change the number of occurrence to three we have these three parts here let's say three here and okay okay now as you can see we have this and the next step now is to create this thickness here 1.9 in this part so what you do first we rotate this model and we select this bottom face here and then thickness tool this tool here okay and next we change the thickness to this well 1.9 okay and now just click ok and as you can see now we have these fillets here okay it's all okay and now what you can do is you create these three holes okay so let's select this face here and create a new sketch and next select external jump tool and let's extract this center point here now select cycle tool and click in this origin point sorry click in this center point and now click here and select constraint diameter now click in this cycle and we'll set a diameter of six for this cycle and now skip two times select the sketch and let's create a pocket okay as you can see you have this hole click ok and next to create the hole in these two parts here we can use this tool again polar button tool so we go to the model tip and we select this pocket and now polar button tool and now we change the occurrence to three and just click ok now okay now as you can see we have these three holes and the next step now is to create this part here and also this hole select active cylinder tool here and next we need to set a plane for this cylinder so let's select this face here and now let's change the radius here to the alpha of 36 millimeters we'll set 36 divided by 2 and the it here will be 5.5 millimeters okay and enter now as you can see we have this and next let's create this fillet here with a radius of 4 millimeters select this edge and then fillet 2 change the rate to 4 millimeters and enter and next let's create this hole with this diameter 32 millimeters to do that we can use this tool here hole tool we select this face and then hole tool okay and from this task panel we can change the diameter to 32 okay and it's okay as you can see we have this we have this hole so click ok now and next let's create this chamfer with this dimension 0.3 okay so zoom in and select this face here and then chamfer tool change the size here to 0.3 and enter as you can see now we have the small chamfer here and now let's see how to create this pocket if you know the sketch and surface tool from the car reserve bench, maybe you will think about using it to draw a single sketch that called create a pocket. But this idea will not work because of two problems. The first problem is that the tool works well with cylindrical surface and this surface here 
is not exactly a cylindrical surface. They have reads on this channel that demonstrates use of this tool on cylindrical surface like the ones on the screen now. The another problem is the fact that part of this pocket here is outside the limits of the surface here. So if we go to FreeCut and change the workbench to Carve's workbench, select the surface and map a sketch on this surface, and then go to the model tip, close this arrow and click here, and make this sketch visible, spacebar and double click. Zoom in and hide these all constraints. And select this slot tool and zoom in and draw this sketch outside these limits. And skip two times. As you can see, we have a problem here. The geometry of this sketch is not what we want. And also, if we zoom in, we can see that. The geometry of the sketch don't pass the surface limits okay so the way to create this pocket here is to create two sketches in the part design workbench so let's do that first let's delete this sketch and surface operation and also this sketch here and let's go back to the part design workbench okay and firstly here we'll create a sketch in this face here Zoom in and select this face. Create a new sketch in this face. And next, select slot tool, this tool here, and draw this vertical slot. And then click here and select constraint radius for this. For this arc here, we'll set a radius of 2.5, therefore 5 millimeters. Okay, and as you can see here, we have this distance. We have 28 millimeters from this origin point to the center point of this slot. So what we do, we select, we can select this tool here or constraint vertical distance tool, and then these two points here. And the distance, as you can see, is 28 millimeters. Okay, in this way. And also we can set a length for this line here. Let's set, for example, 20 millimeters. And then skip two times to leave the sketch, zoom out, and let's create a pocket now. We select pocket two. Okay, and let's set for example 15 millimeters. Okay, no problem. Now click OK. And next let's create another sketch. So click in this icon and for now let's select Axi Plane. Okay, and switch to the full view. As you can see, here we have this pocket. And let's select the external jump tool and extract these two edges here. Okay. So next, let's select slot tool and let's draw a vertical slot. Okay, and next what you can do is to just select this point here and this line and place this constraint here. Okay, and as you can see now we have two degrees of freedom. So next, as you can see here, we have this distance, 18 millimeters. So we can select this tool here, vertical distance tool. And now this point and the center point here and let's set 18 millimeters and for this line here let's set for example 10 millimeters and now escape two times and now let's create a pocket first let's change the type here to triangle okay if we rotate the model you can see that we have the pocket here so what you can do is to check this option reverse it and now as you can see we have this so next click OK and now let's create these all three pockets here in these limitations 60 degrees to do that we can't use this tool here polar pattern tool we need to use this tool here multiple font tool okay so now we go to the model tip let's select this first pocket and control this pocket here and then select this tool multiple font tool 
and now go to transformations and here and click on the mouse and select a polar button option and now scroll down here and first here let's change the angle to six degrees okay and also let's change the number of occurrence to three as you can see we have this problem to avoid this problem here what you need to do is to check this option reverse duration okay and now we have this so click ok now and the next ring click on mouse again and select a polar button two scroll down and now we just need to change number of occurrence here to three and as you can see now we have these all pockets so click ok here and ok and as you can see this is the final part of this model okay so we finish the design of this model thank you for watching this video if you find this video useful please leave a like a comment and share this video with your friends and also watch another videos of the channel and if you want to support the content of this channel there's a link in the description of this video to my ko page thank you for watching this video i hope to see you in the next video thank you